Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this stable diffusion tutorial, we're going to see how to create a staged pipeline. If you have attended stable diffusion OLANs or AMA, you would have noticed that Imad multiple times mentioned that you know stable diffusion could be more powerful when you have a staged pipeline. Like for example, you take text and then you process the text using a different model and then feed it to stable diffusion. And now that can do something or probably, you know, take the image from Dali mini and then give it a stable diffusion and that can produce better image. So this is primarily because um, there are other models like in case in this case, Dali mini that can process the text in a much better way or create an image that is much, much closer to the text prompt rather than what stable diffusion does. So what we are going to do in this video is we're going to combine Dali mini unstable division and then we are going to create one google collab notebook that will help us create a text to image using dali mini and stable diffusion we are going to use dali mini to create a very rough version of the image like for example you can see this is a very simple image and we are going to use stable diffusion to enhance it i'm also going to show you how you can change your prompt um, for if you want like an original image like this this almost looks like moon but if you want an artistic image then how you can change it so this video is going to completely show you all the details and at the end of this Google Collab Notebook, I've also created one final script that you can use with Gradio, like if you want an app. In my case, I cannot run this because I run out of CUDA memory. But if you have got Google Collab Pro, um, which I do not have, then you can literally take this final part of this notebook and then use it with your Google Collab Pro. Then you'll be able to simply use this Gradio and then run everything that you want but I'm, I would not be able to show you the demo because I do not have enough memory or I'm not blessed with the GPU. But but if you want to know how this, this entire thing works, how are we staging the pipeline, then this video is exactly for you. There are, there are a couple of catches that I'll let you know. The first thing is once we start the notebook, I'm, I'm just checking what is the machine that we have got. In our case, we have got a Tesla T4 machine and we have got approximately 16 gig RAM. And the next thing that you need to do is you need to install Mindali and um, I'm installing Gradio, um, assuming that I was going to use it, but uh, Gradio is not required. Let me remove it. So Min Dali is a minimal implementation of the Dali Mini. So while Dali Mini itself is a minimal implementation, uh, Dali Mini right now is called Creon. While Dali Mini itself is a very smaller implementation of Dali, Min Dali is further a minimalized version of Dali Mini. And I've made a separate tutorial on da Min Dali before. You can definitely check it out, but otherwise, we are going to just see very basic example of how to use Mindali. Once you are done with that, once you are successfully installed Mindali, the next thing is we need to load below and just for image processing, NumPy, Mindali and uh, we need finally uh, Torch. Torch is just to set the data type. So the next thing is we have to create a model using Mindali. We have to define the path where we want to store the model files. You can see we have got a pre-trained folder the directory from where the model is going to get downloaded and then what is the data type i think currently uh, mindali supports b float 32 sorry b float 16 float 16 so it supports b float b float 16 float 16 and float 32 so google collab doesn't support b float 16 or at least the machine that i've got um the gpu that i've got doesn't support b float 16 so your options are either pretty much be uh, just float 16 or float 32. I have heard, read that uh, float 16 would take a lesser memory than float 32. And, um, but, but somehow like I read that float 32 is sl still faster than float 16. So I'm sticking to float 32, but if you ever hit an um, out of uh, memory issue, there are certain things that you can do change the float 32 to float 16. Uh, use a mini version of uh, Dali Mini. Uh, if you know Dali Mini had uh, Mega and uh, non Mega, like you can set this to false and use it. Or also you can do uh, reusable equal to false. So there are a couple of options that you can play with if you if you hit out of memory issue. So one, uh, change the data type. Second, make this false. Third, make this false, and then try if that helps in avoiding the memory issue. But from whatever I have tried. Um, so far when I run it on Google Collab, I don't hit memory issue while using the, the configuration that is written on this Google Collab notebook. Once that is done, the next thing that you need to do is you need to give a prompt. 
in my case the prompt that i have given is an avocado landed on moon and what are we doing here we are we are actually saving the prompt in a text file so you can see that i have saved the prompt in a text file the reason why we are saving the prompt in a text file is because we are going to restart this notebook to clear our vram so right now you can see the ram um, you can see it is somewhere here so we are going to to clear this memory ram we are going to restart this entire google collab notebook after we generate the first image like the first stage of our stable diffusion pipeline so for that uh, to make it easier for the user so that they don't have to enter the prompt again we are going to save the prompt in a text file so that text file will contain the actual prompt which we will read later on once we save the prompt then we are going to use the dali minis um, min dali's generate image to generate the images certain things like you can you can read about it like uh, how do you like what what kind of these things are doing but basically grid size one means you are going to get one image and um, and um, and uh, seed values for uh, re reproducing the images um, other things that you can just for now you know you can ignore or you can go to their um, repository and then read more about at this point we should have had an image um and we should have been able to save the image so here we would have saved the image in image.png so image.png sorry where do open image.st so image.png is where we would have saved the this this image you can see this image gets saved in image.png at this point our first stage of converting a text into a very um, basic image using dali mini is done so we are going to restart the google collab notebook so we are going to restart the google collab notebook to refresh or to completely start from scratch so that the memory is completely starting from scratch which means we are going to start with 16 gig ram when we start this stable diffusion process once you restart this then you are going to install diffusers and transformers and once you install diffusers and transformers then we are going to import the regular items one important notable item is from diffusers we are going to import stable diffusion image to image pipeline so keep it in your mind that while we are using dali mini for text to image we are using stable diffusion as an image to image pipeline here not a text to image pipeline because the image has been already generated using dali mini and that is the input image we are going to give into stable diffusion image to image pipeline next we are setting the default tensor type to float tensor and next um, you have to you have to run this so that um, you know you can go to hugging face um, your account copy the token come back here and paste the token once that you know small model loads after that we are going to download the stable diffusion image to image um, model um, and you can see that uh, this is this is basically what we do to download and after we download we convert it into the gpu model and then now the game begins so now what we are going to do now is at this point we are going to read the prompt.txt file and then we are going to take the prompt from it and after we take the prompt then we have the prompt stored inside the prompt object the string object then we can simply create the image before you move on to creating image i want to tell you two things first if you want a very natural image this is like quite natural like uh, an avocado landing on moon so you can see the craters it looks quite natural if you want an image that is quite original i would suggest you to keep only the prompt so this is the original prompt but if you want a very uh, polished image that can be used as wallpaper that can be used um, let's say you're creating a game animation whatever it is then this this kind of polished image is what you would want then you can add this to the prompt saying you know uh, digital art 4k highly detailed trending on art station so point is if you do not use this then you would get a very raw enhanced image of dali mini's image um, it's still improved from the original image but it it is quite raw and it is very original it it retains the originality of how the moon is avocado is all those things you can even see how the avocado seed is but if you want an art if you want uh, to use it like an art not like the original image in itself i would i would suggest you to do a string concatenation here while you are giving the prompt which is digital art 4k highly detailed trending on art station and that would give me this image so that is that is basically this entire video is 
where we have taken a simple text to quickly show you we have taken a simple text as prompt we stored the prompt then we use the prompt to generate an image from dali mini that looks like this and then we kill the notebook we restarted the notebook because we wanted to start with full 16 gig ram and then we started again from scratch we installed diffusers and transformers library um, we loaded all the required libraries we did hugging face authentication token and then we downloaded stable diffusion model we read the prompt from the text file that we saved and then we are going to generate the image and like i told you if you want to keep the original image just enhanced then just keep the prompt don't add the suffix here after the plus which i'm doing a string concatenation but like this but if you want a polished image that more looks like a digital art then do this digital art 4k highly detailed training and art station to it and you can also play with um, the strength and guidance um, like the strength will help you understand what is the what is the weightage that you want to give between the input image and the um, text the trade-off that you can play with but for me this has worked fine like 0.75 has worked fine and you can see that i've really managed to get a very decent image of avocado landing on moon um, this is this is quite original like i can i i actually like this a lot but if i want to use it in a game or a you know um, like a wallpaper i would still prefer this image and like i said at the start of the video uh, i've also created like a standalone code i've created a standalone code where we are not going to restart the notebook and all those things this is only if you have got a google collab pro subscription not on the free tire so what i was showing until now was for the free tire uh, free for the free tire everything works fine but if you want to combine the pipeline then you will hit out of memory error uh, could out of memory error and the free tire so you need more memory than that so if you have got google collab pro you can directly jump into the final section of this notebook and uh, you can run it and it would run a gradio notebook without an error of course because i've got I've, i do not have a notebook you can just give the prompt here submit it and then you'll get the smaller image and the bigger image and then you can have a happy stable diffusion image that is generated or staged by the dali mini image um using a text simple text prompt i hope this video was helpful to you in understanding how you can leverage two different models to create a really great art a great image that is quite closer to the text that you give if you have any questions let me know in the comment section if you have explored anything new like this i have a couple of more ideas to explore a few more pipeline i think um, uh, bloom is one of the things that i wanted to explore like even one of our subscriber yesterday commented that bloom plus table division would be really interesting i'm i'm really curious to see how that is going to play out but if you have any any other idea for such stay uh, um, such stage stable diffusion then please let me know in the comments um, the next video would be most likely stable diffusion videos if you are interested in that please make sure that you subscribe and um, let me know your thoughts um, otherwise stay safe this google collab notebook will be in the youtube description you can do right away start using it um yeah thank you take care cheers